be uh, between six and eight, I would assume. Mm. Okay. They were fairly intense? Or... Yeah, they were very close together as well. Right, OK. Four years ago, Kelly Carr was a mother and housewife with no interest in spaceships or aliens. Now she's using technology to reconstruct images of her own encounter. Sort of it does give the idea of the lights there, but, you know, the, the brightness of the light, it gives a good impression, except that the colour doesn't seem right. Kelly's account starts in August 1993. My husband and I were driving up to my girlfriend's place uh, in Monbok, which is in the Dandenong Mountains. We were driving on Belgrave Hallam Road, and it was just on dusk. I saw what I thought was round orange lights in the field. It just looked unusual to me. Later that night, retracing their route home, Kelly noticed something else unusual. It's about a, a kilometre or so in front of us, uh, about twice the height of the treetops, we could see this um, uh, uh, object, which at first I thought was a blimp. It had the shape of a blimp, but it was light. As we got closer to it, the, the light seemed to sort of separate, and it was actually these... Uh, a row of round lights uh, and they were orange. It appeared like there were silhouettes standing in these round orange circles, like people, but you could only see the black outline. Well, I, I just said to my husband, look, there's people in there. And the minute I said that, it shot off to the left of us. Within one or two seconds, it was gone completely. About a, a kilometre uh, or two further down the road as we kept driving, I came across what, uh, at least what I thought, was a screen or a wall of light across the road. And my heart started racing and the adrenaline was sort of pumping through my body and I'm thinking, we've just seen this back down there, we're, we're in for, you know, a close encounter. Then the next instant, nothing. We seem to have um, actually covered a fair distance that I don't even remember covering. It might have been possibly close to a kilometre that I don't remember uh, actually travelling. <clears throat> there was no light, there was, you know, there was nothing blocking the road. Kelly says it wasn't until weeks later she remembered actually getting out of the car that night. Then I saw that there was a, um, uh, another car that had pulled up a hundred metres down the road. Then I walked around the front of the car to where my husband was standing on the other side and uh, we started walking across the road together. As we were walking across the road, I looked down and I saw that the other people were getting out of the car and starting to walk as well. So I was quite happy that there was other people there who were seeing the same thing that we were. And we walked up along here to, to um, where the fence is. Right out in front of us is this, this huge craft. I was totally awestruck, you know, it was... Uh, it was, it was science fiction coming to life. There wasn't any fear then, it was just all, total awe. We stood here, I guess side by side, my husband and I, for about 30 to 45 seconds. Then this tall dark being just appeared in front of the craft and, and he was followed by about another seven or eight that appeared straight behind him. I felt this energy go through me. It's like nothing I've never, ever experienced before in my life. It was like some sort of low-level frequency that came in waves, but it was so dense that I could actually physically feel it going through my body. And that feeling absolutely terrified me. It was like, uh, I, I can't even explain the horror that I felt just feeling this. And um, I uh, began screaming. The minute I did, the eyes on these things lit up and they came charging across the field. Halfway across, they split up into two groups. Some headed off down there, and the rest came directly towards us. I felt this blow to my stomach, and the next thing you know, I'm back here somewhere on the grass. It literally lifted me off of my feet. And I thought I was gonna die. I thought, if I don't get up now, I'm never gonna, I'm gonna pass out and I'm gonna die. I'm not gonna come back to consciousness, you know? So I pulled myself up into a sitting position and when I sat up, I couldn't see anything. And uh, it was like there was just black in front of my eyes. I want you to try stretching it down a little bit as well. Kelly is not the only one who saw these images that night.
For the first time ever, independent witnesses have given the same account of a close encounter. Even though Kelly has never met Jane, Glenda and Bill from the other car she saw, she has seen the sketches they drew for UFO researchers. They've drawn the same um, circles of light around the top of the craft with um, this, uh, these blue lines coming down, ending a, in a semi-circle uh, on the ground. They've actually also drawn a tripod underneath, which was something I didn't see that night. It comes very clear then that we were all looking at the same thing and that it wasn't your average um, saucer-shaped uh, craft. And basically, the second party were able to draw sketches of the beings very similar to the ones that I had, and they're not your usual um, little grey things that are, you know, media propaganda. I found a small red-coloured uh, equilateral triangle underneath my navel, which I guess in reality provoked um, only a minor curiosity at the time. Uh, it was oddly geometric, and I did, I did wonder, you know, how, how something like that could get on me uh, that looked like a burn without me feeling it. At UFO conferences where Kelly is now a keynote speaker, she adds strength to her own story by showing photographs of physical marks left on one of the other women. We were all left with triangular marks under our navels, but um, the ones that were marks that were actually photographed, the first one came from Glenda, which is a, uh, it's a series of three small red dots along the inner thigh, and both Jane and Glenda um, were marked with these dots. I wasn't. Glenda had a, uh, a ligature mark around her ankle, which is quite severe bruising. Um, it looked like she'd been strapped down to something. UFO researchers have also reported finding physical traces of the site where all witnesses said the encounter happened, particularly in relation to where the craft landed. Inside that semicircle was actually a, um, a triangular formation of three points spaced six metres apart, which correspond with the tripod that was um, drawn underneath the, the girl's craft. To this day, Kelly still doesn't know exactly what happened to her that night. Right. Try, try a little bit. Her most vivid memory is the fear that she felt. That's very good. It's finally come out to what I'm looking for. And I think a lot of people, you know, might have experienced the fear in a nightmare when you're being chased or something like that, and it's a terror that you feel that, you know, sometimes can wake you up or whatever, but it's absolutely horrifying when you're dreaming it. And that's exactly what I was feeling while I was totally awake. That sort of terror, actually having to feel it while you're um, conscious and physically awake and feel it as a reality is um, like a living nightmare, like, like a nightmare had come to life. <laughs> 